This is the story of a Lancaster bomber. More specifically, a Lancaster Mark I, which carried the RAF serial number R5697 and was built in June 1942. On the 20th of December 1942, whilst on a bombing mission to Duisburg in Germany with number 106 squadron, it was shot down over Monaken Dam in the Netherlands with the loss of all seven crew members. The idea of this project is to restore one of the mighty Rolls-Royce Merlin engines from this incredible aircraft like this one, back to running order as a living memorial to the 55,000 plus Bomber Command crew who lost their lives in World War II. This is one of the Merlin Mark 20 engines which once powered R5697. It was built at the Rolls-Royce plant in Hillington near Glasgow on the 28th of April 1942. It's not obvious from its condition that it dived into the ground from 20,000 feet, but the signs are certainly there, especially in the complete absence of the propeller which was violently torn from the front of the engine upon impact. The propeller from one of these engines was subsequently used in the memorial to Wing Commander Guy Gibson in Steenberg in Netherlands, where he was shot down and killed flying a Mosquito, along with squadron leader Jim Warwick on the 19th of September 1944. Guy Gibson was the commanding officer of number 106 squadron, the home of Lank. R5697. We now have a second engine from this aircraft which has been dismantled in order to begin the long task of restoring it to run again. This is a two-speed gearbox which drives the supercharger which allows the Merlin to breathe thinner air at high altitude and produce enough power to fly at 20,000 feet. It had two speeds and these are achieved using clutches. These two clutches both engage together to provide the high gear or they disengage and this one engages to produce a low gear. We can see because this one turns that the low speed is disengaged which means it's currently in high gear which poignantly shows that it was flying at high altitude when it was shot down. <laughs> 